won't be silenced while Ricky Flutey has a pot shot. Bill McLaren used to refer to it as ill-mannered whistling, and I think that's what we're going to get now. Will it put Ricky Flutey off? Well, I hope not. He's uh, had a few, few moments recently with his kicking, but this time an opportunity for London Irish to take the lead. He strikes it well and straight through the middle. The so London Irish take the lead uh, to the silence from the crowd. 14 minutes on the clock. It's now London Irish 3, Azure this time for London Irish and again we have a, a bit of whistling a bit of jeering you never hear that at the Medeski Stadium of course and now uh, Flutie comes up and strikes the ball he strikes it certainly well does he like it yes, yes he does and through it goes so 20 minutes gone and London Irish double their lead it's London Irish 6 Ajen from Ricky Flutie, a try from Colleen and a conversion from uh, Mikel but uh, this time well a great opportunity he tees the ball up very high Ricky Flutie this time uh, he just looks up to the post as we wait for the crowd to settle there he won't but Flutie strikes it straight through the middle cool as you like and London Irish have retaken the lead so 32 minutes on the clock I'm pleased to be able to tell you it's now London Irish 9 Agen 7 And Everett strikes the ball. Has it got the legs? Has it got the legs? Yes, it's yes. got the legs. Great kick from Barry Everett. So, in injury time, in stoppage time, thanks to that kick from Barry Everett, it's now London Irish 12, Agen 7. Converse, of course, from Rugby League. He played as Cronulla and Penrith. He's hoping to play for Italy, as we were discussing in the first half. So here he goes. Fonzo strikes it straight through the middle. So London Irish restore their lead to five points. Five minutes gone of the second half. Thanks to that kick from Paul Fonzo, it's now London Irish 15, Agen 10. Everett now just inside the 22 on those well right side for him just away on the left towards the left touch line on his right boot of course takes his time glances up at the posts the routine we know so well 
Everett now takes a step back and steps his left. Strikes the ball. Through it goes. Great kick. Straight between great the kick. posts. Great, a, a great big pressure Vernon. kick. And the lead Barry. is down to uh, six points. Barry, Barry Everett has uh, brought London Irish back in this game and back in, in the group with the option opportunity of a bonus point. It's now London Irish 18, Ajahn 24, and we have about one minute plus, a little bit of injury time to go. Edwards now moves them right. Everett with the ball. Inside to Fronze. Fronze with space. Fronze with a great turn of pace. Driving up towards one. Oh, Fronze yes, yes. What a try from Fronze. Unbelievable. Brilliant try Fronze. by Paul Fronze. I don't know how he scored that one. He's gone through four tackles. Try of the season without a shadow of doubt. I'm losing my voice. Paul Fronze has left the Argent players in bits. They're lying around. Fronze, remarkable try. And... Suddenly, London Irish has pulled it back to just one point and it's under the post. It's London Irish 23, Agen 24, and a conversion will surely follow. The crowd are not happy here one little bit. Barry Everett with a kick in front Everett. of the post. The Agen player is going to steam up on them quickly. Everett strikes the ball. Through it goes. Through it goes. And London Irish have a lead. The referee says there's more time to play. The crowd are streaming out, but there's still time. It's London Irish 25, Agen 24. Have you ever seen a finish like this? Somehow it's got back to Thauthau. He's going to be tackled behind his own line, is he? They're keeping it alive. It's a long pass. It's oh, intercepted by Armitage. A try. Armitage has to be a try. There. Has he given the try? Yes, he has. It's has to try. be a try by Armitage. No, no, no. <laughs> intercepted the pass. Intercepted were, the loose pass. They were trying to throw it around inside their own 22. It's crazy play, but they had to go for it. Armitage was there to intercept and touch it down. And that is surely that. London Irish have another try. Dylan Armitage has touched it down. They have a lead now of uh, 30 points to 24. It's surely game set and match. They're a beaten side, Aja, and they had to try and run it from deep, and it was straight wow. into the long arms of Dan Ramsey to make it 32-24 in London Irish's favour. Yes. Through it goes, straight through the middle, and the referee has blown for full time. London Irish have won here at Aja, and what an evening of rugby. How I moaned and moaned for much of that second half, but London Irish have won it, despite and partly due to some erratic refereeing, but what a finish. It's a magnificent try that, from Paul Fronze, which has ultimately broken the hearts of Agen, and has seen London Irish progress through, surely, to the uh, quarterfinals. Now, I, I'll do the maths for you very shortly, but I assume they are through. What an evening. Tries from Delon Armitage. Paul Fronze have sealed this game. The final score from Stad Armandie in Agen. It's finished London Irish 32, Agen 24.